Hello, I'm Matthew from Solarbike. I'm just showing a few slides of a recent trip I went to China to the motor factory. So I'd just like to show uh, some a brief description of what they actually do in the motor factory to make the motors. So the first part you come to is where they actually melt all the metal. So you can see it's a very, it looks like an old cauldron there in the background. And all the coal on the side, they just create a huge fire. Uh, a lot of temperature and they melt a whole heap of metal to be used and it's poured into certain moulds to create the covers for the motors. Here you can see these are the raw hub plates that come for the direct drive motor after they've come out after the metal's been poured in the moulds. And here you can see a stack of motors that actually form the little 200 watt mini motors. The next step is they uh, polish and coat them, so you can see the pole on the left is the old ones, they go into the cleaning machine and they get polished and they end up out on the right. You can see a stack of them where they've been nicely polished and here there's two machines where they press the outer gears into them and also the bearings into the inside of the motor. Uh, this lady here is doing the designs, they laser etch certain logos into the motor as well and this is the bearing pressing machine. The motor will sit on there and they'll press the bearings into the outer edge. So here you can see a stack of them that have had the outer gears pushed in. This is the stator of it. And here you have, you can see the internal um, planetary gears on the bottom there. And so these will actually form the motor and then you, the, the rotor has the coils round around the outside. So here is the difference where if you pay a little bit extra money you get a slightly different quality motor. So typically the domestic motors are on the left and the export ones are on the right and there's two differences between that make a, quite a difference in the quality and the efficiency and the resistance of the motor. So the one on the left you can see the magnets that form the inner ring on the outside of the motor there they're actually not cut straight, while on the right you can see they're actually cut with a bend in it so they fit around the outside of the motor properly. And you can also see the bearings, the black ones on the right that you pay more for, that we use, uh, come from Germany versus the Chinese one. This is the production line where they uh, make the rotors of the motor. And here you can see a lady actually uh, winding it. So this is at real speed. You can see it's, uh, it can be a bit um, a lot of pressure on the fingers, and that's uh, how they wind the motors. Apparently they're all done like that, and it's done actually in better quality than the machinery. Uh, these guys do all the uh, wiring, so they'll just put all the wires and plugs at the end of it to sort of match it up. And uh, this is where the motors all get laced into the rims. The lady on the left there is actually doing it. The guys in the, she actually adjusts it all. It's sort of still all done by hand. The, same, the two guys in the middle, they actually putting all the spokes through and lining it up, doing it all loosely. And then you have the expert to really true the wheel perfectly. And there's my partner looking happy on the right. This is one of the finished products. These are the 500 watt and the 1000 watt motors, so the larger direct drive motor, which have now a disc compatibility and they're using all quite nice Alex rims, so they're all looking quite good. And then they pack them for you and they put all the controllers and the throttles and they send them away. And this is where all the fine points of business are actually done. Okay.